Welcome back, everybody, to Occultus and on the side of the corner of the internet. Um, you're joining us once again for our Star Trek miniseries finale, uh, looks like. Um, we were taking a break to run Star Trek Adventures by Modiphius uh, while he was preparing for the new Chronicle, which I think starts next week. Is that safe to say? Yep. Cool. Cool. Yes. Um, so soon. We are sponsored um, tonight, as always, by Roll20 and viewers like you. Specifically, scroll up, scroll up. Ryan, Thomas, Noba, Harry, Michael, Brandon, Catfeathers, Josh, Alexander, Puppeteer, Sina, Email, Moki, Melissa, Doc the Doomed, Other Michael, V. Arcane, Bernie, Alan Michael, Al, Yusuf Sama, Curry Take Two, um, Julian, Delora, um, Jenny, Blood Angel, Jack, Zoltan, Funzo, Milo V3, Vortex, Adele, Crazy Man 1772, George, Woodfoot, Neo Magus, Chris, Shaksara, Distress at Beacon Camo, Toast, Daniel, Thomas, Taryn, Hang Falleth, Parker, and Riafio. Thank you very much for support. Um, that allows us to do things like replace broken equipment and do hardware refreshes for um, our folks and pay for awesome artwork that I can't wait to show you. Oh, yeah. Um, when we last at our story, um, the intrepid crew, the surviving crew of the USS Curry, has just stepped through an Arctonian gateway and emerged um, in a corridor on a Klingon Burrell class bird of prey. Uh, they estimate that there's seven or eight Klingon crew on board. Their plan is to take the ship, um, left their um, temporary ally, Wadun, the Klingon, um, challenge the captain for control of the ship. Um, and then just take it out of play for the um, ongoing confrontation with the Curry and the D5 battle crew, or light cruiser um, that is currently on um, I think I covered everything. We have a pool of three advantages that the crew four, can use. Four, four, four advantages. Pardon me. Four <laughs> advantages the crew can use uh, during their boarding action. Um, which is equivalent to the the um, create advantage momentum spin um, based on uh, the captain and Wadoon's uh, meticulous planning um, while they were still back on the Iconian station. Um, I think that's everything. Cool. Um, the captain um, and Dr. Hudson and Wadoon were going to head towards the bridge to try and facilitate the encounter between the acting captain and Wadoon. Um, and Commander Kitneo, um, the Prophet, and the Tenants of Colon are going to head towards engineering as a backup to disable systems and things like that to make sure that the whatever happens on the bridge, the Bird of Prey is not a factor um, in the fight against the crew. Um, I don't think I missed anything, so let's get underway. Why don't we start with the crew heading towards the engineering room? One thing I'd like to do before we oh, split Oh, sure, up. right. So right okay. before everyone gets into a quick huddle. Yep, I'm getting a quick huddle, and the captain looks around at everyone, and he says, um, remember back at the rescue on Xerxes 7? I said, I'm sure it was going to be an honor, and it really has. So let's keep it going, everyone. We got more missions to have. Trying instead of yelling, just to make it a little mm -hmm. more, you know, yeah. like mm -hmm. heartfelt and simple. So he's going to make a rally roll with presence and command, try and generate some momentum. I think team dynamics is a relevant focus. Sure. Cool. I'm waiting to see the result before I figure out how hyped the commander is. Oh, yeah. and this is part of the the recap, I guess, is they're going into this boarding action with zero momentum, and I have six threat. <laughs> so a little <laughs> undergunned. It's going to be a tense time. So the captain's doing a rally move to try and generate some momentum for the group. Yeah. Nice. Hey, there you go. So that gets you how many momentum off the of rally? Three. 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 There we go. Just hope right. Ladoon can fight this time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not fighting the captain. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so do you want to kick me all and let's have some colon? Mm -hmm. um, head off towards a triple lift in the rear of the ship and head towards engineering. Um, I'm guessing you guys are trying to not make a lot of attention as you're moving through. 
Yeah, yeah trying to crit. sneak. So give me some I do have the phaser out though, because in case. We were sure. So give me some sneaky sneak rolls. Sure. Oh yeah. Uh I did control security before, so good with that. Yeah. Um Yeah, okay, I'll buy that. Sure. Okay. Or daring control. Or fitness, yeah, daring security. security. I was kinda of thinking more fitness and security. Yeah. Oh, okay. I only lose um, one there. That's fine by me. Yeah, it's fine. And I have sure. uh infiltration focus. So and oh, infiltration yeah, focus right. absolutely applies. Um team dynamics. You guys are working together, I'm sure. I'll allow that. Okay. I'm not spending any momentum on this. Because I don't Ooh. need to. <laughs> Ooh. What was our difficulty? What was the difficulty? Um, so there? And you guys can add some more momentum to that to your pool. Okay. Uh, I think another three, so it puts you at max. Okay. Yeah. It's only difficulty one. Nice. All right. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, way to go. Um, there and, we go. Um, I'm going to spend a couple threat for a GM intrusion. Mm. Okay. So you guys are making your way through the ship, um, and you manage to find yourselves moving past um, the brig. Oh. And as you kind of duck past, there's a couple guards inside the brig. But um, Lieutenant Zakolman, you see that there's four Nevade currently in the holding cells. Um, do you mind you have the prophet with you? Mm -hmm. um, what do you do? The Klingons have not detected you because of your successful stealth. Yeah, um, I'm going to point them out to the commander. So I feel mm -hmm. like it's probably your call. You're my ranking officer. But I'm uh, more the opinion that we need to complete our part of this mission and that once we have this ship, we can then deal with this. Problem is they could hold those hostages against us once we have. How many guards are in there, uh, Craig? Two. I also don't want to make a scene while right. they're trying to do like the actual honor duel on the deck, like up there. Yep. All right, we're going to stick to what the captain's plan is um, so we don't deviate, but we make note of this. Um, mm -hmm. And this is our first priority. Once we secure the engineering bay. Yeah. All right. And so since we're you... clearly not saying this out loud, I'm just like pointing that to you. I'm going to point back at the bridge where they're doing the duel. And it's like, yep. Go. All right. Um, give me a presence command role to persuade um, Prophet Turris. I'm going to spend a momentum on that. Sure. Because we're at six, so. Yep. Two. All right. So on the promise that once the engine room is secure, you'll come back and save them. He agrees. Cool. Okay. Um, so you guys are move off. Was uh, uh, that an opposed role? Uh, not an opposed role, no. OK. What was the difficulty? The difficulty was two. OK. Yeah. Um, so you guys make your way down into engineering. Um, so there's a you know, large door currently open. Um, because they haven't actually engaged yet, so they're sort of like they're not at alert status yet. Uh, you can see in the engine room there are four Klingons um, at various consoles scattered around. Um, uh, you're not sure from the labels and things like that what those consoles particularly are, unless you guys understand Klingon. I don't think anyone has knowledge of the Klingon language. I might. <laughs> <laughs> That's entirely possible. Um, although I think you've used that for this is it uh, once per session or it says once per mission. Um, and so I'm unsure of where our delineation there is. Yeah, I could call it. If you're thinking a... episodic, this yeah. would be a new one. But yeah, I leave that so up yeah. to your decision. No, I'll allow that if you wanted to use that ability to have a graph. To be able to read. Around. Yeah. But not worried about that just yet. I got okay. it. Um, so there's a couple that look like they're managing the warp core. One's probably on the shield, and one is probably on the cloak. Um, but it's a fairly tight space, so they're all fairly close together. Um, there's not really 
I suppose you might be able to stealth your way in and like try and grab one at a time. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be four on, on two. Well, then I looked at the profane. So how's your hunting? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a, a contemplative. That's, that's what I thought. Yeah. Pat, pat shoulder <laughs> tuck into a little corner. You yep. just sit right He's, there. <laughs> He's going to stay back a little bit, definitely out of sight, away from blast radiuses and things like that. Yeah, They've made a critical error because they're now clumped together and you can cloud kill them. Yep. Fireball, 60 foot radius. We're good. <laughs> um, and I think at this point, it's like Commander has made the joke multiple times, but looks at the lieutenant and goes, well, that's two for you and two for me. <laughs> yep. um, yeah. Now, out of character, mm-hmm. the plan is, and and looking to Ralph and Chris and Ash, not our characters, we're going to assault the engineering bay, or we're going, uh, regardless, or we're waiting for Wadoon to do his thing and see what happens. I figure that he, we wait to see what happens there, because they can be ordered down right right? and then you wouldn't have to risk injuring yourself Mm -hmm. in the event that is bad then we can call it and you have multiple advantages you can use that will generate bonus momentum that would potentially prevent you from getting injured so i think considering the circumstances you like using those to prevent you two from getting hurt if you have to assault the engine bay right because you do appear to have most of the klingons yeah if we figured there were like eight on the ship we've got six down here Mm-hmm. Two I think break, full, full crew four was in the engineering. 12 or something like that. Yeah, and four of yeah. them are gone. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Craig suggested four on the planet. So, so cool. we'll see how many are there. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, just very, very quietly in, you know, the communicator, you know, basically commander yeah. in position. And that's it. Just like short burst. Sure. Cool. All right. Um, And you get that message just as you guys are arriving at the bridge. Great. Um, the bridge doors are sealed, um, mm-hmm. but it shouldn't be a big issue. To, it'll be difficult to zero at the moment. It's not a problem. All right. Um, fantastic. You can roll if you wish. Let's see. Yeah. Get that one momentum. So, so control, control security. Control security. Cool. Yeah. Yep. So bank that momentum. Um, Great. As the door is open. Cool. Um, and you see that there are three Klingons on the bridge. Yes. They look rather surprised to see uh-huh. him. Um, and the fellow in the center chair stands up. Says, what is the meaning of this? And well, he says something in Klingon you don't understand. Yeah. Um, and your buddy Wadoon comes forward and sort of plants his hands on his hips and bellows <laughs> something. Peter Pan pose. Yep. Um, there's some back and forth. And then you see um one of the crewmen. Activate something on a console, and alarms start ringing throughout the ship. Oh, uh, that all happens like in 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 moments. Wow! Well, so the captain is moving to engage Wadoon, mm-hmm. but the two other crewmen, yeah, are also drawing weapons. Okay, sounds good. One's going down. One punch. Okay. Um, <laughs> Got the one punch shirt. Chichalor. That's how it goes. One punch Chichalor. <laughs> Um, and uh, you guys on the engineering bay also hear like alarms start to sound and the crew in the engineering bay is definitely on alert. Crap. Sorry, folks. Yeah, yeah I've got my... I mean, they still don't know we're pistol. down here. Yeah, if they start trying to like run out to go at the bridge, then I say we shoot them. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Just, just to clarify, <laughs> you know, we are definitely like in a like enfilade uh, position mm-hmm. um, ready to yeah, just... You- you guys aren't undetected. They don't know that you're there. Um, so, yeah, it definitely would be easy for you guys to... If they go to make trouble for others. Yeah, if they go make trouble that. for others, you can stop that, for sure. That's smart. All right, um, so I'm thinking what Doom would like to go first, unless Chuchalor has another plan. Uh, I think that's fine, right? Everybody, if that makes sense to the rest of the other players. Yeah, that I makes mean, sense it's to his me. honor duel, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Um... And there's a lot of back and forth, but you guys can't really follow exactly what they're saying. Okay. Um, Don't we have universal translators? Yeah, we do. Yeah, but you're, you have the support of the ship and stuff like that. To, oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Um, we don't have a bevel fish. So <laughs> what Noon has pulled his Dicta, uh-huh. um, playing on Dagger, but the captain has apparently pulled his Disruptor, which seems to be a source of contention between them. Oh. Um, yeah. But you note that, that Wadoon leaves his Disruptor at his side. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he's going to go forward to the Daring Security. Yeah. He can spend a momentum. That's okay with everybody else. That's what yeah, it's there for. Momentum. Sure. Um, he has a focus. Uh, first into battle, he's going to. I can't because I'm not good. Okay. That's for the systemality. Okay, and he's going to actually spend to get another die by giving you two threat unless you guys are opposed to that because that gives him his warrior spirit. No, I like it. Ah, uh, okay. He seems um, good. Hmm. All right, I'm I was sure planning on is. spending threat later, so I prefer if he spent if he spent one threat and two momentum. That way, that we have one threat open. Um, his warrior spirit only uh, applies when he's buying dice for combat with threat. He may reroll any number of dice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if he spends two momentum, but to... it has to be spent with threat. No, I get that. You're okay. saying so he's he's buying a fourth die. So I'm saying if he buys the first die with oh, threat, okay, sure. one, and then yeah, it's okay. two with Yeah, momentum. yeah, so he still gets his four, but then you guys. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah fine. That's, but that's okay with everybody else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that would allow me to use the Yushan. Whoa. Okay. Oh, yeah. Point of order. Um, actually, point of order, Craig, sure. before you uh, continue forward, uh, would you say that the Klingon ship is on red alert? Sure, yes. The ship is now Finally, on. I can turn this on! <laughs> Here we go. Hilarious. Is it making sounds? I need to hear it. No, it does not make sense. Oh. <laughs> I hit play and I got an ad. I didn't get to see it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, all right, so he hits quite extensively. He's going to take the extra damage from one and one to bypass resistance. Yeah. Um, he's using a big car. Uh, ooh, one, two, three, four. And you said plus extra damage? Uh, yep. One, so Wait, there's only four? And the power bypass resistance. Wait a minute. A dicta is how much base damage? Uh, one. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Never mind. Now. Yep. He only has three security. Cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so does That's it pass with a dicta? Um, the Klingon um, does not respond. To it. Try, he's trying to un- basically unarm strike him with his pistol or whatever. So <laughs> yeah, well that that All right, uh, so that's his go. Um, the Klingon uh, rushes forward towards Captain Tutor. All right, bring it on. Um, he is armed, and I'm spending a threat with a battle. All right, cool. Sounds good. Oh, Ooh. he's going down. Screw that. <laughs> oh, the Batleth versus the Nushan Tour. Oh, you made a mistake, boy. Get inside his reach. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so um, I spin one threat and mm-hmm. two momentum. Okay. Four dice. Um, I'll Roll take that in. threat and buy an extra die. All right. But then it would cost um, two. What's that? It, it would cost two. No threat and momentum work the same. For him. Yeah, I know. So if he if he's... Buying a fourth die or no, a second mm. bonus die? No, he's using the threat you're giving me to buy a die on this roll. Just one die. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sorry, I yeah, misheard yeah. you earlier. I thought that he had already done so. No, nope. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, so he takes a swing with his uh, back to death. Yeah, let me see. So I got four hand to hand combat, daring security. Cool, great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. oh yeah. So you beat him pretty significantly. So you've got three extra. Well, no, yeah, two extra because you have to beat him. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, one to bypass resistance. Do you want to bank yeah, the other or do you want to spend it on damage? Hmm. I think on damage. I think I might want to see how I roll first. So I can get another. 12 damage that'd be real sweet <laughs> uh, but let's see i'll either add damage or re-roll some damage so all right yeah let's re-roll those two or no with one you add two damage or is it one damage per um, momentum spend i don't know if time i had so i'm just gonna say one okay gotcha <laughs> that seems fair yeah let's add one damage so that's 
One, two, three, four, five. Six. Plus one is six. Mm -hmm. And you're bypassing resistance. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Get a pretty solid hit in, um, and he's not looking great. Um, that was his move. Now mm -hmm. it's your turn. All or right. Your side's you turn. Do? So, Dr. Hudson, are you engaging anything? Or yeah, if you want to go. Of course. Let Chucho will go. Uh, I'll let the captain okay. handle this for now. Can right. perhaps make my opinions known soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, the captain's going to make it. Uh, well, I'm going to make it threat heavy. Hmm. Captain's going to hmm, buy two threat or buy. No, no, no. He's going to buy one die with one momentum. And then he's going to spend two threat, give you two threat to get four dice again. Mm hmm. And he's going to strike him. Okay. Yeah. All right. Blah -dow. Oh, wait, that's, that's wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I rolled the wrong roll. Ooh. Oh, hey. Good. And I get to re-roll those two. Oh, right, because you bought with threat. Yep. So let's roll two more dice for a task roll. All right. So five okay. total. Yep. Five total. Yeah, he's uh, going to be in a bad way. Probably nope. fucked. All right. Um, so you needed three. You rolled five. So you got two extra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, one cool. to bypass resistance. And then what do you want to do with the other one? Assuming uh, you want to let's... bypass resistance. Yeah, I do want to bypass resistance. Okay. So um, do you want me to reroll damage again or take the roll I just made accidentally? Um, no, I can take that if you want. Okay. It's good. So that's fine with me. <laughs> um, so that's one, two, three, four, six. Plus three is nine. Bypass resistance, and then, um, yeah, spend one. No, I'm going to bank that momentum. Cool. Okay. All right. Um, so, so he takes nine damage. In the resistance. description of things, this one Klingon like, grabs a bat left from a rack beside his station and runs at the captain, takes a swing. Um, the captain ducks out of the way and jabs with Yushan Tor and then counters again with another slash with Yushan Tor. So it all, it's all over in a matter of an instant, and the Klingon is sprawled on the ground. Um, That's right. That slide <laughs> um, it's now the Klingon's turn, and Doctor Hudson, one of the Klingons, is making his way towards you. Mm -hmm. I'm spending a threat to arm him with a bet left. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a melee weapon, or will we an unarmed counter? You got teleport that, device. <laughs> have a teleport device. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, not, not to be a complete ass, but did you activate it before the battle started? It needs to be activated. I thought it was just on. Yeah. So, okay. Oh, yeah, that was not clear. Well, we have four advantages. Mm -hmm. Sure. So you can if spend an advantage to say you activated it. How's that sound? Yeah. Yep. Sounds fine. Okay. I think it's so important to keep the doctor healthy. We'll take a swing with his bat left. Um, then you can counter with your unarmed. Sure. Um, but your difficulty uh, is higher because he's armed and you're not. Sure. Uh, what's that roll again? Daring insecurity. Yep. Um, you'll need to It'll get a three to beat him. It'll be fine. I believe. You got it. Um, you got it. How bad is it? A 10, so we'll oh, see. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> I'm going yeah. to try and grab a die. Yeah, you guys sure. have momentum? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. There to help. Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right. So cool. um, Dr. Mm. Hudson sort of kind of brings up an arm, but the Klingon just swinging across underneath it. Um, he will roll the damage. Spitty Do you dish. get to move? And Two, when does three, the teleport four, happen? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage to Dr. Hudson. Yeah. Um, oh, however, yeah, the, little, yeah. the right. moment before the battle strikes, Dr. Hudson vanishes in a flash. Where do you appear, Dr. Hudson? Yeah. Um... Typically on bridge layout, awesome. like a, there's the tunnel that leads up to the actual bridge. 
So you can be farther back in the corridor, or you can sh be further into the bridge next to a bridge console. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah, next to something important. Okay, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, and pretty much all the consoles on the bridge look important, so they <laughs> The right. one farthest away from that left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, right. for the, uh, to remind folks at home, I have nine hit points. Right. <laughs> stress, stress. So from the captain's point of view, like this bat left is going to kill the doctor. Yep. No. It's yeah. Gonna, yeah. And whew, it just, and he vanishes at the last moment uh. and appears farther into the bridge. The talk. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now it's Dr. Hudson's turn. Um, you got a little murder friend. I'm gonna charge up my phaser and point it directly at whatever important thing I'm standing next to. Okay. Oh yeah. And threaten to start blasting shit that's important. Um, give me a presence command roll. Sure. I'm not halfway bad at that. Um, would you say that this is composure? <laughs> <laughs> But um, I am desperately out of my element and trying to maintain that fact <laughs> as a secret. Sure. Okay, I'll go for that, yeah. Um, I'm going to spend my... Yeah, I'm going to spend my determination on the um, nothing better than practical experience. Sure. Um, and... <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um and uh yeah, essentially just try and like bully these people into letting the actual duel happen. <laughs> That's great. That's fair. Yeah. Like All right, you don't calm have to down stop you with fighting, the bad lift. <laughs> you guys have to yeah. <laughs> That's great. Ooh. Ooh. Seven. We appreciate you <laughs> oh. filling up the momentum track. Man. <laughs> Absolutely. Seven oh, yeah. successes. What was the difficulty there, Greg? Well, that's a competing rule. Like competing, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, so, that's right. Yeah, because you're trying um, to force somebody's will. There's gonna be a few people rolling here. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> one. Yeah. And Perry's right. Follow the rules of Fight Club. One fight at a time. One fight at a time. <laughs> and I have to roll for your buddy. Well, I don't think he's trying to get the them to stand down. No, he's he just, was. Yeah. No, he was like the doctor is really convinced. And what you don't understand that because on the success of the roll, he's standing next to the um, the um, cloak controls. <laughs> <laughs> So Wudan definitely has a stake in that. <laughs> um, okay. Thanks, chat. Um, yeah. So you, everyone, just like. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so the clan with the bat left just you know sort of holds up his hand and backs away a little bit. Um, Wadun says, "What are you doing?" He said, "Don't hurt my ship." Um, and the captain's like, um, the, the captain's definitely desperate, and he, um, is, you're now in his arc of interest. Cool. Okay. This is good. Um, but hey. the Klingon with the bad left has definitely stood down. He's not going to be engaging with you. Um, that's, right. that's the end of that round. Uh, let's head back. So, how to much momentum do I get? Four. Five. Um, we needed a three. Oh, we needed three to beat him. Yeah, yep. so it would be four. So we're at five. So it would be um, four. Yep. So it puts mm -hmm. us momentum five, right? Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, down in engineering, uh, um, everybody looks up at the sounds of the coxswains, um, and uh, one of the guys at the console barks something and clinging on the other guy, and he leaves his station and starts to head towards you guys. Oh, cool. Okay. Somebody's going to get a halo hit to the back of the neck. <laughs> yeah, um, he draws um, a disruptor pistol and starts to head um, forward. Uh, you guys are in a position to surprise me. Yeah, I think it's probably a duo, you know, takedown. Like, Just like, like yeah, we're, we're killing this guy, right? Well, he, he won't get a chance, to, this guy. He won't get a chance to respond. Um, 
<laughs> so, like, it'll still we'll go through, but you guys definitely go first. Um, sure. But I will give you a free seize the initiative. How's that sound? Sure. Sounds good. Yeah, that's nice. All right. Um, go ahead and do your rules. Do you want to do this quietly, or are you going to take a, uh, a phaser slash disruptor? I mean, I'm I'm looking at unarmed strike for for myself. I think. What is unarmed strike? Daring security. Mm-hmm. Any melee is daring security. Yeah, uh, then yeah, I'll go for that. Like, what, what's the damage? Um, it's uh, one plus your security. So it's only a okay. little bit worse. Yeah. 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 It's That's not the so same bad. as the basic. Almost, almost mm-hmm. slightly worse than the basic phaser. Yeah, I'll go for that. Yeah, when you have high security, it's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That one challenge that you're missing isn't really a big deal. Uh, do you want to? Go. Uh, I think we're probably doing this simultaneously. But. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of my thought. Actually, don't you have a? Don't you have a thingy? Oh, wait. No, we determined that it wasn't as useful. Yeah, you got rid of pack yep. tactics. Um. Cool. Yeah. Um. Because my stats were good enough that it was better for me to just fight. Right. Um. Would this count as team dynamics? This this you know duo takedown of a. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm going to spend one of our momentum. Yep, cool. Daring security. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. So uh, you beat him by two. Beat what you need by two. So you can bypass resistance. Cool. Get extra damage. You got two momentum. You can spend other bankers. Man. Yeah. Um, I'll bank one and put the other two bypassing resistance. So I can do my full. An arm strike damage. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, it. I can get some knockdown here. Not One, really. So that's four two, damage. Two, four. Um, right. So he comes across, and you just sort of with a double fisted smack <laughs> with your chest. His feet sort of run out from under him, and he's down on the ground. Um, oh, Captain Kirk. Lieutenant uh, Coleman yeah. leaps out from behind and right. gets yeah. her attack in. And now, because scary. he's knocked down, do we have some advantage? Mm, I don't. No. When somebody's prone, I just think I he think. can't move unless he spends a minor action to stand up. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> One and a complication. Oh boy. One and a complication. And like stomps on his head. Welcome to Andor, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Do you roll off again if you tie? Um No, I think the attack just doesn't land. Okay. Um, right, so you guys end up struggling. So um, you go in to um, give him a blow while he's down, and he ends up locking arms with you, and the two of you are now wrestling on the ground. That's her complication. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, that's the end of that round, except for the other Klingons who are now able to react, because they can see that there's a scuffle going on by the engine room doors. Ooh. Melee attacks against uh, prone characters gain two bonus momentum. Oh, okay. I mean, if they land, but mine didn't. Yeah, yeah. No, I just meant in terms of the what does prone do. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. So basically, um, you just get to bypass their resistance by default, and, or produ- or do more damage. Yeah, or, yeah because they're do more damage. on their back or whatever. Yeah, or hit them twice. All right. Um. So you guys are prone. So you're the you and the other Klingon are out of view from the engineering bay. Uh. But Commander Kitmiel is not. Oh no. Um. So they're going to take some phaser shots at you. Sure. Oh, or, no. uh, pardon me. Disruptor shots. Mm-hmm. That's one. And two. And what's he going to do? He's not shooting, he's moving. I'll give him an assist. Okay. So that's uh, two hits from a disruptor pistol. For two damage. Two damage. Okay. You're lucky, Dave. So, so, so yeah. Like, yeah. Winged a couple times. Let's l- well, hang on. Those were solid hits, all right? Like, and just the commander <laughs> just tanks it. It just shrugs <laughs> off disruptor hits. Sure. However you like to describe it, that's fine. This is the finale, Craig. Give me a moment. <laughs> you had your cooldowns up for this one. All right. <laughs> all right. Um, and that's four stress, right? Um, that's four stress. Okay. All right. Uh, back to the bridge. All right. 
so the one Klingon has, like, he's kind of held up his bat left in hand, like he's not going to engage in the fight while the doctor is threatening the console. Mm-hmm. Um, what's what do you guys want to do, and who wants to go first? The captain is looking. I just want to tell him what I'm not taking an action here necessarily. Sure. But as he moved away, the captain um, is keeping trying to interpose himself between that Klingon and Wadoon. Okay. So if the Klingon is going to fight somebody, it's going to be the captain. Sure. All right. Um, unless uh, you guys have an objection, Wadoon would like to go first. Mm-hmm. Okay. This needs to be concluded. Yep. <clears throat> You're just keeping it a fair fight, man. Exactly. Do um, you want to give him a momentum? Yeah. Yeah, we got five, so. Yeah, you mm-hmm. can have one. All right. Uh, bearing security. I think we have four. Now we have uh, three. Ooh. Clang, clang. Um, mm-hmm. Clang, clang. Um, and minus me actually looking up the rules. They just... Trade blows without a, mm-hmm. um, landing mm-hmm. any solid hits. Um, Dupac, or not Dupac, the acting captain is going to go next. Mm-hmm. Um, and he takes a shot at Dr. Hudson. He shoots at Dr. Hudson? He shoots at Dr. Hudson. Rude. Um, Dr. Hudson is threatening the, sh- the cult controls. Oh, man. The captain. Let's see. What's the momentum spin to interpose yourself to interrupt? I'm trying to remember. Um, if if he tries to shoot Doctor Hudson, um, the captain cares more about the safety of his crew than he does sure. about Wadoon's honor. So, um, he might not kill him, but he's definitely going to do what he can to try and stop him. So um, let's see. I think There's the, a guard point- task, but that's beforehand. Mm-hmm. But there was a momentum spin to jump. There's a momentum spin that Maybe you basically not. just dive in the way. Mm-hmm. So you can interpose yourself in that way. So if there's a hit, it'll hit you instead of Dr. Hudson. Yeah. So this guy's actively fighting Wadoon and then turns around to shoot me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You made quite an impression on him that you're in Fair enough. To, Like he's convinced that you're going to shoot the, the cloak controls. You should shoot the cloak controls just because. Yeah, if he pulls a fucking gun on me, I'm gonna. <laughs> <Just> fucking <laughs> like... that's why. <laughs> I wish there was like a hold at bay option or something like that so that you could. Hmm. If we shoot the cloak, we'll probably also probably have to fight Wadi. Hmm. We could repair the cloak. Mm hmm. Assuming our ship doesn't then okay, attack this ship. Yes, of, if the cloak oh, yeah. does go down, like because we have fighters yeah. out and about, right? That's true. Shavora may point. just turn around yep. and watch mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Uncloaked, yeah, just immediately. <laughs> That's yeah. a good point. Yeah, I think um, if the only option is to jump in the way, the captain would take a hit. Now you are aware that he still has that teleporter. Oh, he does. It still works. Oh, okay. Sorry, mm-hmm. I, I thought no, it was well, a cipher. You're not sure necessarily how long it works, but probably oh. for three tries. Oh, okay, cool. Never mind then. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, I feel totally different about this. This was like <laughs> the teleporter's okay. done. And if he's going to try and shoot the doctor, <laughs> then the doctor's going to die. The captain's not going to allow somebody, like if he can jump in the way and take a hit for the doctor, he'd do that, right? Like that, that's okay. what I meant. Like if, if it seemed like a potentially fatal experience for Dr. Mm-hmm. Hudson. Yeah. If, we, if things good more than once. Yeah, cool. Great. All right. Thank you for telling me that. Okay. Um, so the acting captain scores a hit with his disruptor pistol. Rolling damage. It's a good one to dodge. One, mm-hmm. two, three, four, five, six, eight. seven, eight. Um, disruptor damage. Happen? So you see the beam just like almost hit the doctor and then he vanishes. And where do you appear now? Um... Hold so, like, his head. back towards the rear of the bridge by the bridge rail, or on another location in the bridge, like another corner. Either way, you won't, you can't be next to that console. Right. You, you need to transport away. It can't just be like a stutter step. No. <laughs> it has to be a range. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You have to move one range increment from where you are. Sure. Uh, I mean, 
generally the same same idea though like i don't want to i don't want to disappear mm -hmm. um so so other side of the thing yeah okay um so the doctor vanishes from where he was and reappears over there um so that's two uses of your teleport you've got one left uh and then it's you our turn yep that's mm -hmm. your turn again so who's next it's me. Because okay. <laughs> the phaser's charged. Mm -hmm. It is charged, yeah. And I'm, like, pissed off at this point. <laughs> it's like, you, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. You almost made me do the thing I was threatening to do. Uh, what, daring? daring to, to shoot, shoot? It is uh, control security. Control. Oh, man. All right. Hey. Oh, uh, yeah. One more than you need. You can bypass resistance with momentum or bank it. Yeah, we should probably bypass because I'm not going to do that much damage. So. <laughs> All right. So roll your damage. Right. So you spend a momentum. So now we're down to two. Here you shoot now. Uh, the, cat, the big the big boy that just tried to shoot me. And he's oh, not spending captain. momentum. Okay. He isn't. Oh, for the, for the die roll. Yep. I'm with you. That's, I'm just trying to confirm because he didn't declare it. So I'm trying to track him on my sheet. Oh, what did you charge for? Extra what? damage? Yeah, whatever yes. we all keep doing. Vicious, yeah. Vicious the damage on you. Vicious. Vicious. Yeah. All right. This says I have four dice. Does that sound right? Yep. It yep. would be three plus your security. Yep, that's right. Okay. Hey, four damage. Hey, you did four damage. Okay. Um, so the doctor vanishes, appears with his phaser leveled, and shoots at the acting captain. Two! Um, scores a hit. Um, Wadoon kind of grumbles at that, but um, he's not making too much of an issue about it. Hey, captain started this shit. <laughs> he yeah. made me part of your duel. <laughs> yep. All right, uh, Klingon's turn. Um, the one Klingon will not be reacting. Because mm -hmm. um, you, well, but he sees the doctor. If he moves, I'm gonna. He's getting <laughs> cut. All right. So he's him. moving. You intercept right, him. Yep. I'm gonna strike him. Okay. So he's moving on his turn, right? So. Um, What's that? I said he's acting, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Cool. Great. He now how it goes here. Um, he's using the bad math. Mm -hmm. Take a threat. Great, and I'm gonna add a threat. No, I mean, I'm spending one. Mm -hmm. No, I know. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm adding one. Adding one for... Okay. And then, uh, okay, well. Wait, control security? Oh, it is wrong one. Dare. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I'm rerolling. Ooh. <laughs> That's right. All right, we got this daring security. I think we'll take a momentum, right? right. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, so we have one extra. Sure. Uh, All right. Probably bypass I, resistance. I have one extra? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. You have to beat him by one. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah, every time. Um, I'll bypass resistance for sure. And okay. yeah, do we get a momentum for that complication or something else bad going to happen to him? Nope, something else bad is going to happen. Sounds oh, good to, to him. me. In Brent, your sounds, <laughs> yeah, sounds good to me. Time to roll damage. Roll that out. Yes. Jesus. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and it is. Oh, he was not hit. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. Okay, um, so um, you rush over and interpose yourself, um, and you take a hand and grab onto the bat left, and sort of wrench it off to the side as you yeah. drive the Yushan Tor in, yeah, and successfully disarm him because he loses track of it awesome. based on the pain that he's got. <laughs> um, so his took his boomerang now, sword. Yeah, took his boomerang sword away. <laughs> Right. I can't um, throw it too far. It might come back. That's right. Uh, no, it's your turn. <laughs> All right. Um, the fight's on. Knocking him out. Okay. Stab him again. Mama yep. Said knock Doing you it out. again. I'm gonna um, uh, give you one threat. All right. I'll spend that on a die. Cool. All righty. Here we go. Blat out. Reroll that yes. one. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> oh, so you, you, yeah. three, you, can, you have two momentum that you can spend. 
Oh, um, uh, I will bank one and use mm -hmm. one to bypass resistance. Okay, go ahead and roll your damage. Cool. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. Now that's mm -hmm. enough. You take him out. The Klingon is yeah. down on the ground. Fantastic. Two Klingons down. <laughs> Captain Chichiller turns around. With Doom, don't make me do it for you. Or do all. Yeah, exactly. Get it done. I'm taking out two already. <laughs> um, is that is everyone taking a turn? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's it for the bridge. Well, there um, have been two turns on yeah, the bridge. Two turns on the bridge. Back to engineering. Oh, yeah, and mm -hmm. back to mm -hmm. us. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, so at the end of the turn Exciting. on the bridge, a turbo left at the end of the corridor opens, and you see two Klingons step out. It, on the bridge, you mean the engineering? No, this is on the bridge. So you guys cool. are on the bridge, like and there's like a long probably. tunnel yeah. that leads out to the bridge, right? Mm -hmm. um, so the the turbo lift at the end of that corridor opens up, and you see two Klingons armed and ready uh, okay. step out. Gotcha. All right? All Down right. the engineering. Uh, Lieutenant Zucolin is wrestling around on the ground with a Klingon. Um, and Commander Kitmule is dodging disruptor fire. There's three guys down on the ground, or down in the engineering room, um, with uh, disruptor pistols. Who wants to go first? I mean, I guess I will. I don't like this grappling. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Um, but yeah, it's a daring you, security. Don't, actually, don't you have a um, uh, a dictaw? Yes. I haven't, like, <laughs> drawn it. Right. You could draw it as a minor action. Sure. Okay. I don't have it added to my sheet. It's just one extra damage. Okay, so it'll be... It's the, the same damage, damage as unarmed, though. Is That's it? what is Craig it? said. What's that? The Dictaw is, is the same damage as the uh, Yeah, unarmed? it does, it's, it does one damage, but it's vicious one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So... It's like and it's definitely lethal. Like it's not a non-lethal weapon, right? Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. So Harry and okay, Bean right so The weapon damage is one, then, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So daring security. I'll fight with him. Um. Can I spend momentum and take a die? Yeah. Heck yeah. Please do. Three. Heck yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. okay. Um. You win. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Um, and this is vicious. Make sure everything is tabbed right. Nice. Yes. Two, three, Fantastic. Four, five, six. Okay. Um, you hit him pretty solidly. Um, and like he's got his dictaw that he's drawn, and they're still wrestling around, and you're seeing like blades flash and mm -hmm. grunts of pain and things like that. Um. His turn now. He's gonna roll. Point of order, because his uh, her target is knocked down. Does that give her the bonus, bonus momentum? momentum? But uh, they're yeah. both. I'm both kind of prone, counting out because they're both prone. Sure, right? that's mm -hmm. true. Right. Um, so I'm gonna spend a threat for an extra moment, or for an extra die. Cool. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Only one. Yes. Okay. So you beat him again, get to hit rolling him again? damage, that's how it works. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yep. Hand to hand combat's great. Yeah, melee that gets one, two, four, five, seven. six, seven. Okay, so you finish him off. <laughs> just stab Damn, him twice. Just, you're seeing like <laughs> flailing arms and legs, a flash of steel, and then the clinic kind of goes limp and does uh, a on top. And the one time I'm not playing a fighting boy is the time of melee day, which is actually good. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> All right, uh, Drew, you're up. Cool. Trying to kidney uh, I think there's there's an under, you know, a quick breathe like Shavor would be proud as I mm -hmm. like start firing phaser fire down. <laughs> okay. Um, um, you're taking a minor action, I presume? Uh, yes, uh, definitely for uh, extra damage. Um, I'm see. sure she's going to be upset that we got to have fun. <laughs> taking a bird of prey. Well, it's definitely going to be one of those things of like when we get back on the ship, mm -hmm. I told you you should have gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's good. Try, you did try to yeah, convince her to go. That's a really good point. Um, I am going to spend uh, momentum to get that extra die. Sure. Um, da, 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 da. Um, yeah. And. 
Three. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Spent one momentum, so we're at one momentum. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, oh, but you're shooting. One, Great. So you got two momentum to spend your bank. Right, which brings me to... Uh, I am going to... Yeah, what did you charge your phaser for? For additional damage. Okay. So um, one target didn't go for area? Correct, because I'm going to spend the two momentum for a secondary target. Okay. Um, so mm-hmm. it is the two momentum, uh, so we're not net anything, but they take uh, half the damage I'm about to do. I'm okay with that. Ooh, yeah. Six, eight... 10, 11. And then it's, uh, pull this back up. So then they do have their resistance. uh, Half damage rounded down. So the other takes five. So one takes 10 and the other takes five? Uh, One takes 11, the other takes five. One takes 11, the other takes five. Uh, Okay. But they were not bypassing resistance. That is also true, yes. Yeah, so it's nine net. Okay, um, one Klingon is injured. Yeah. Effectively out of the fight. That's right. Five, and the other Klingon is still in it. Okay. Open the fight. Ha ha ha. Fuck off. But the character sheets sometimes get stuck on my mouse. Yeah, and mm. it like resizes weird. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and how do I. Yeah. <laughs> I have them like. Okay. Like disappear thing. and go into like little <laughs> transparent boxes. Yeah, that's from the double click. That's mm-hmm. a standard yeah. function, but yeah. All right. Um. So two more Klingons with disruptors. Control there. Shooting at yeah, you because you're the only standing target. <laughs> um. A one solid hit and one miss. Boost his damage. Um, and Zakona's not eligible as a secondary target. Um, there's a pistol. <sighs> Terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. What's your stress at? Uh, I yeah. got three left. Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, Commander Kidney take takes a pretty solid hit from one of the disruptors. Um, he's not looking great, but he's still in the fight. Um, that's it for the engine room. Back to the bridge. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, Captain pulls his hand phaser, mm-hmm. fires down the corridor, and ducks in cover. Okay. And let's see, I think if um, hmm, we have three advantages left, I really want to use them to. I'm not sure I forgot about those. Yeah, I I really want them to be saved to prevent you two from taking injuries, but I think it might be a good idea to use one here. Wait, I don't know if I can take advantage of the, the talent myself. How do no, an ally work? succeeds. Go ahead. What'd you say? How do advantages work? Like, what can we it's use? It's an additional for? die, basically. Okay. So it can be an additional die, or it can be reduced difficulty, depending upon how it's implied and interpreted. And so, in this case, um, you just say, "Hey, you're applying an advantage from the plan," and then you, either you get a bonus die or the reduced difficulty. And you can also use it to retroactively better. create conditions. That's right. Like I totally remember to bring my bad left with me or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And so if you if you use it um, and you succeed at a task, then you're also going to get two bonus momentum. So mm-hmm. it's it's really good for the two of you, especially because it's it you're you're outnumbered right now. So uh, so I'm not going to use those advantages. What I am going to do is, uh, yeah, pull up my hand phaser, wow. fire down the corridor, and try and take one of them out. Okay, and get in the cover. So control security, and this is an unexpected challenge. <laughs> I expect to get momentum, so I'm going to spend one momentum mm-hmm. to roll three dice. Boom, three. Yep. No problem. So I will bank one and bypass resistance. Okay. 
Ooh. What'd you charge for? Oh, uh, charge, charge for a vicious. It drew. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. Yep. Oh, true. Cool. One, two, Fair three, enough. Four. Yep, five damage. Five. Yep. Six. Okay. Or no. Hmm. No, effects are Does one unless you're dark. Yeah. Yep. Okay, um, now one of the Klingons, um, he ducks back um, around the bulkhead. Cool. And the other Klingon takes a shot. Mm-hmm. And what does cover give me? Um, I don't know if it uh, if there's Oh, no, specific... it gives you dice. Dice? Yeah, it gives you effectively dice, right? I believe is that how it works. And there's I the know. guard, which is finding defensible, but that's a a specific task. Yeah, um, no, I think cover reduces. I, I believe cover reduces the damage you take if he hits. Okay. Um. So I'll you're partially up. around a bulkhead, so I'll give you like a two points of cover. Okay. So you roll when he if he hits you and he rolls down challenge dice, you roll challenge dice to reduce the damage. Okay. Gotcha. Yep. Oh, all right. Um. Unless somebody wants to look that up quick and correct. Yeah, it can be really quick. Uh, terrain. All right. He makes his roll. Two successes. Okay. Challenge dice is for determining how much you get from cover. Uh, okay, so you get. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you get a certain number of dice for cover. They're challenge dice. You roll them. Any effects? Um, give you resistance. Right. Oh, that's pretty good. So cool. you got two that's points so cool. of cover. Go ahead and roll it. Cool. Sounds good. Just a challenge I too remember to tab off that field. <laughs> I will do so. Darn you! Otherwise, very good. <laughs> so, effects give you resistance. Yes. Okay. So One resistance. Two, four, six, eight. Mm-hmm. Um, reduced by one is seven. Okay. Okay. So seven cool. stress. All right. Great. Solid I'm hit half my stress bar. Cool. You guys are tough. Yep. Well, we are. <laughs> Not you stay over there behind cover. <laughs> Do you have your little ribbit friend? Um, I'll turn them on if I need to. <laughs> be a good idea now. <laughs> okay, I'm afraid I lost track of the turn order here. So who's gone on the bridge? Captain. I went. One of the guys outside. They shot me. Or in the okay. hallway. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. And has uh, Wadoon gone? Nope. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so I'll go for Wadoon now. This is the worst. Unless uh, Doctor wants to supersede that. Okay. So funny. Because uh, we were all like, let's do this. And then it was like, let's be nice. Wadoon is going to be able to make it happen. <laughs> like... This slacker. Your, your <laughs> honor performance is gonna kill us. <laughs> um, I'm going to let Wadun use his um you've effectively given him a directive. Uh-huh. Yeah. That if he wins his duel, he gets the ship. Uh -huh. right. Sounds like a determination to me. So yeah. um I'm gonna have him use his uh directive determination for that. Cool. Um and buy a die. With momentum, if you guys are willing to let him. Sure. Okay. Let's zero us out. Yep. Oh, God. Oh. But um, it ends up being three mm -hmm. uh, versus the captain. How much threat do I have left? Three by my count. Okay. He'll spend one. Cool. Oh, three? I thought it was four. All right. Maybe I missed one. So yeah. now we're down to two. Sweet. Oh, no. Ooh, one, two, three, four. So using his determination, he's still not able to pull it out. And uh, Captain lands a smack. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five on your buddy. That's not bad. Yeah. Three total Wait. because of resistance. Um, plus is two resistance, right? Um, and uh, a knockdown. So... Uh, Wadoon tries to thrust with the, the Dikta. Um, the captain kind of blocks and then just smacks him, pistol whips him with his disruptor, um, and uh -huh. Wadoon goes down. Oh, good. Um, captains go next. Um, he kind of smiles down at Wadoon. 
and he's going to level his blaster at him. Or his uh, disruptor. <laughs> oh, this guy's a terrible Klingon. He's got yeah. no honor. Like, this, is, this is the worst. Combat. Uh, I'm threat because he's got bonus for my thing. As far as a hit. Ooh. Disruptor pistol. Ooh, terrible oh, damage. Oh, fantastic. Okay, yeah. uh, and Wadoon uh, twists out of the way and just gets a grazing shot uh, from the disruptor, which kind of angers the acting captain. Mm -hmm. Right, Dr. Hudson, you're up. Send that drone down the hallway. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so deploying the drone. This thing? Yeah, de deploying the drone is a minor action. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it takes off down the hallway. It's going to do its thing. Uh, what you're going to do for your, your action? Uh, I'm like looking down at my a phaser in my hand. I look over at the captain, like firing down the hallway, and mm -hmm. uh, the captain's like waving you to stay behind cover. <laughs> <laughs> Because the captain is now like not shooting down the hallway. It's like, ow, oh, this rubber beam's hurt. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna fire at the Klingon captain. <laughs> Go yeah. for it. Yep. It's bad so, as the point. From where you are, um, you've got two points of cover uh, automatically, but if you what I'll allow you to do is get four points of cover by increasing your difficulty of your shot by one. Eh, that's probably not. A good idea. No. <laughs> Just give you the option. We yep. have no momentum currently, right? We are zero. Right. Okay. Hey, Ooh, hey. way to go! Um, so that gives you a momentum. You can bank it or spend it on bypass resistance. I'm gonna bypass the resistance this because, again, I'm unlikely to roll that much damage. Go and before it. you roll damage, you charged for. Oh wait, no, minor action mm -hmm. to send the drone. Never yeah. Mind. yeah. Oh yeah. Hi. Nice. Three points. Three points of damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three points of damage, and now I'm gonna roll for your drone. Cool. Mm -hmm. Rolling four dice at uh, 13 control and seven security. Mm. No! Oh, no! <laughs> Wrong <laughs> game, Craig! Wrong game! Yeah, um, uh, so the drone uh, zips down the hallway. It's pretty quick and nimble. Yeah. Um, and uh, takes a shot, but the Klingon manages to avoid the blast. Okay. Right. Um, but that's basically, it's going to keep on attacking that Klingon. It's basically a free extra shot. Cool. Um, I think that's... Is there any way it can lay covering fire down instead of shooting one of them? I think mean, it's called a hunter-killer. Yeah, then... no, the drone right. doesn't have that level of sophistication. Okay, gotcha. Okay. It just goes after a target. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Um, or shoots whatever target it's assigned person is shooting at. Okay. Okay, um, I think that's everybody on the bridge. Did I miss anyone? Mm -hmm. Uh... No, oh, that's everybody. Nope. Yep. So. Okay, so back to the engine room. Cool. Um, gonna let the lieutenant go first. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to pull out my disruptor pistol. Okay. And just fire it. Whichever one is most in the open. Yeah, so there's only two of them that are still up down there. Um, and one's mm -hmm. injured, I think? Well, one is injured, so he's effectively out of the fight. He's out of the fight. No, no, sorry. Has taken damage because of the wide beam. Yes. Or the oh, secondary yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, the, both of them. Because I took out one of them. Took out one of them and put five damage on the other one. Right. Yeah. Okay. So one's wounded. One is untouched so far. I'm going to shoot at the wounded one then. Okay. Go for it. Nice. Uh, you can bank or spend the one momentum. Uh, I'm going to take it to bypass their resistance. Go for it. Ooh. Wow. One, Ooh, two, yeah. three, four. Rip that guy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> that nine. guy ain't gonna be in Star Trek three. <laughs> um, bypassing the resistance. All right. So the wounded Klingon who was kind of hovering behind. Um, you hit him pretty solidly in the shoulder. He disintegrates. And then his whole body sort of glows for a moment, and then just sort of burns away like. <laughs> <laughs> the Zuckerman, the, the, the science officer murderer. <laughs> hey. 
I said she built a fence. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, one cling on the left. He's going to take a disruptor shot at the lieutenant. Uh, not that one. I'm on the third mission. It's this guy. Um, I still have momentum to spend. Threat. Yeah, you leave our momentum alone. We only got the one. No, I'm sorry. I, I'm <laughs> we know what you meant. Still, I still threat. Cool. Spend. Yeah, he spent one and got another one threat. So, help you connect your die. Oof. Ooh, yeah, good thing you awesome. take that extra die. So, that's a hit <laughs> on. Um, uh, is it colon? Sure. What is my resistance? What's that? Resistance is what? We don't have any if you yeah. have by default. Oh, yeah. okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points of stress. Ooh. That sucks. And it's the commander's turn. It's all right. Lieutenant, I direct you to shoot him back! <laughs> <laughs> Can I uh, do that on your turn? Uh, yes, because I'm using the direct action. Um, okay. Yep. Yeah, so I am assisting you, which I think so is basically <laughs> the commander saying, "Finish him." <laughs> uh, and, and more specifically, with my only three stress, I think this is a like half yeah. like hiding behind cover, firing mm -hmm. just kind of wildly, so that the lieutenant has a chance to like line up a shot. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. So can I? And use, I think that's uh, an assist on that, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just rolling the one, but I'm still rolling control and security. So there's two for you. Okay. Ooh, right off yeah. the bat. That's all no. you need it anyway. Um, because an assist, you don't have to get a success yourself, I believe. It's a, it's only if the ship is helping. That you have to Correct. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Yes. So with the case yeah. with determination, though. Pardon me? It's the case with determination. I right. think determination. Yeah, determination, you still have to get a success for the determination. Yeah, okay. Um, um, but for these, so the the, um, uh, the wildfire coming from the commander drives him out from behind the console, um, mm -hmm. and you nail him pretty solidly, go and roll your damage. Okay. And then you have one uh, momentum as well, obviously. For bypass resistance, I presume. Oh. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then five is sixteen. Okay, <laughs> he burns away <laughs> again like <laughs> tissue in a fire. Um, All right, and the engine room is secure. Uh, nicely done okay. on the engineering team. Although you guys are pretty hurt. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna like pull out our auto docs and mm -hmm. just like hand you okay. one, push the um, button, wake mine up, and we'll cover that for next round. So back to the okay. bridge. Okay, so you have. The one Klingon is still oh. there, but he's not engaged. Mm. Which nice. one? No, uh, captain no, took out two. The captain, yeah, captain took a, captain uh, yeah, took Yeah, because two. he tried to run at the doctor. There's the captain who's oh, right, right. standing over Wadoon, mm -hmm. and then there are two at the end of the corridor. Mm -hmm. One of them's been shot once, and one's mm -hmm. been engaged by the hunter-killer drone. Right, thank you. Squirrel in traffic. Mm -hmm. um, oh, cool. So who wants to go first? Uh, Wadoon. I'd like to go if that's okay. <laughs> oh, sure. Because I want to help Wadoon. <laughs> sure. Yep. Um, so uh, the captain sees Wadoon on the ground mm -hmm. and he exhorts him and he yells, Wadoon, you're more than this. You plan for this and you have him where you want him. So <laughs> As Wadoon is on his back. <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm use direct uh, and then um, he's going to be able to re-roll, right? So I'm going to assist him. And then mm -hmm. also, if it's okay with you all, uh, I, I thought you were going to need those advantages. He clearly didn't. Um, maybe he can apply an advantage here. Sure. Uh, no, that's uh, true. Yeah. Um, the bonus momentum would be helpful, I think. And uh, considering where Wadoon is, this increases the likelihood that he's going to succeed. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, so here's the presence command roll to aid him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Between between the ca between the Klingon captain not being honorable and focus like barely focusing on the duel, and then like distraction of me shooting him and you yelling like I can definitely see a uh, you know rising uppercut from the ground or whatever ah that's a really good point yeah that's a great great description classic wwe now. full form yes. low blow <laughs> oh, and here i was going with the street fighter you know shoulder you can <laughs> i mean sure so so he gets one uh success mm -hmm. and he gets to re-roll one die and um 
and we're he gets an advantage, advantage. and uh, he gets two bonus momentum from okay. that advantage oh, because right. of plan of action. Do you guys have any um, momentum left to spend? No, one. spend threat. Okay. No, we have okay. one. Do you have one? No, we don't. We had zero. We zeroed out. Did we get some last time? Uh, from oh, never mind, because the lieutenant no, yeah, had to the, use it for uh for resist. bypassing, bypassing resistance. resistance. Yep. Okay. Okay. So three. Yeah. Um. And... Oh, he's he's not gonna add a die with threat. Or the advantage. Um, if you want him to spend, he can do that. Well, I was more looking at the advantage because we. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. have the advantages. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'll roll one other then. Some of that would also maybe give us a movement back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Nope. Oh, well. But he gets to re-roll one die. Uh, but he gets to re-roll one die, so he'll re-roll that one. That's yes! A, hey. So four, so four total. That's four right. One. All right, now this jerk captain. So I'm starting to think bonus. we should have made a deal with instead. <laughs> he gets two bonus momentum. momentum. Oh, right. Spends the last threat. Cool. Great. Yep. Last threat's gone. Not right. even close. Ooh. And we're doing it at six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and, six. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So that's a shit ton of momentum. Mm-hmm. Um, Four of them. Two he has to spend here. Two of them are yeah. two he has to so, spend yeah. here. So one to bypass yep. resistance, one to increase damage. He's got two mm-hmm. extra. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking he's going to throw that into damage. Unless you guys two more damage. I mean, yeah, just it do depends. It. It, yeah, let's it depends do. upon how successful he is with damage. Oh, that's true. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, yeah, I Jeez. think let's add some damage there. Only had one or two. Um, so we bypass resistance and uh, one increased damage anyway. So he's going to get one extra roll. Um, do I let him use the other two? Mm. Or do you want to yeah, bank some No, we can add a threat. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we okay. can add a threat. Same way. All right. So yeah, use one, them. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus four. Plus four. It's Twelve. Twelve. Yep. I pass right. resistance. Okay. So um, Wadoon got knocked down pretty hard on the last round, but you see him kind of do this sort of leg spin, and he comes oh, up into cool. like a, he comes up like into a sitting pose. Yeah. And as he's coming up into a sitting pose, he just thrusts out with a dick ta. Yes. Um, and scores a solid hit just under the belt buckle. Ah. Uh, um, and like fucking Booker T. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, and the acting captain kind of I'm like, I'm with oh, you, Chris. Oh. So with And you. you see the disruptor kind of fall from his hand and he collapses onto the floor. Honorless jerk. Um, Wadoon um, sort of immediately um, gets him onto his back and sort of, sort of straddles him. Uh-huh. And just sort of stares into his eyes. Um, who wants to go next? I think it's going to be a Klingon. So one of the Klingons at the far end. Takes and you heard me when I said I was getting behind full cover, right? Yep. Or as much as um, I can. He's going to take a shot at the dock. No threat left to spend. That's a hit. Got one more teleport. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Heck um, yes. Disrupt pistol. Two, four, six, eight Yike. damage. <laughs> <laughs> and the doctor disappears. Where do you appear this time? Cocaine uh, console. <laughs> out of line of sight. Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. At this point. Okay, so somewhere out of sight from the far end. All right, so the doctor disappears. Your uh, blinking is now done. Uh, the device has been completely discharged, uh, but you were out of line of sight from the far end. Right. Um. That's the Klingon's turn. Your turn. Now it's Wadoon's turn because I acted and he acted because I directed. Oh, that's right. him. So now he gets his own. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wadoon is going to be occupied. Oh, okay. Um, watching the life fade from <laughs> the acting captain's eyes. Yeah, holding his eyes open. Yes. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a, it's oh, a legit man, Klingon thing. Guy. It's a legit yeah. Klingon thing. <laughs> All yeah. right, um, so we're back to, I think that's everybody, isn't it? No, uh, Dr. Hudson. Uh, the hallway Klingons. And the, the HK. 
Right, That's oh, right. the HK. And the rivet. I forgot about mm-hmm. so the HK. Can I roll the dice for the bot? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Slap Craig's hands away. <laughs> um, it's a 10 and, uh, no, hang on. It's 11 and 4. So, Ooh, yeah, 15. 15. 2d20? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Boop. Hey, Ooh. just like that. Okay, so two, yeah. Three. Uh, three. Three successes. Uh, you only needed one. So you got two bonus, or not bonus, you got two momentum from the drone. I'm going to consider the drone's momentum bonus momentum. Sure. sure. Okay. Okay. Because mm-hmm. it's a device that's acting independently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to use the momentum on the drone. Bypass resist. Make it hit harder. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, Kill so it. it's uh, base is three challenge <laughs> yeah, dice. Yeah. No, that's not right. Um, it's uh, nine challenge dice. Jesus. Okay. Kill him. Ooh. Okay. Um, <laughs> nails right? the the um, the Klingon solidly. The Klingon kind of staggers back a moment, like he's being electrocuted, and then just collapses <laughs> onto the deck. And then you see him kicking a couple times before he finally goes still. Oh man! Oh geez. Okay, that was fun. I think that's... Communists detected on American <laughs> soil. <laughs> uh, I think that's the last of the Klingons, isn't that right? There's one more. Uh, the There's one took more. a shot. Yeah. Yeah, he went. Yep. He, he took one shot from me, but he didn't go down. Right, so he's still wounded, but he's still in the fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, so he's still in the fight. He's just done through this round. All right, uh, so we'll cut uh, back to the engine room. Yeah, perfect. Okay, um, yeah. you guys are going to use your med packs? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm pulling out the auto docs to make them do a thing because mm-hmm. neither of us do medicine. All right, um, you guys can just roll challenge rolls. Um, okay. It's a six die a challenge roll. Oh, well, that's going to be me. Boop. Oh, yeah. Look Two, at that. Four, that's six, real seven, nice. Eight. So, um, Commander Kitneal, you heal. Oh, hang on. You roll. Two, four, Ooh. six, seven, eight. So, Commander Kitneal, you heal eight stress. Yeah, so any effect is an extra point of healing. Okay. Mm. Vicious healing. Eleven, yeah. eleven yeah. for Ash. I think Ash is good to go. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have Ash yeah, roll all my challenge and dice it's, from it's now not on. That you're, it's not that your wounds are gone, but you're like giving stimulants and painkillers right. and stuff, so the effects of the wounds um, aren't as apparent. They will still mm-hmm. take some time to heal up and stuff like that. I'm hurt. Get so you're still, you're still physically look like you've been um, damaged oh, sure. fairly significantly. And then like magically Yeah, you know, the shirt's but... all torn off and stuff. You see his bare chest hanging out. <laughs> but uh, the wounds are not impeding you and they will heal up by the end of this. Okay. All right. Um, um, what are you guys heading to now? Down to the brig. Um, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. I, think, I, I think specifically... And, oh, and this, this might controls. be a little bit meta out of character, but I feel like we would have heard the two guards from the brig leave. No, they were in a, um, a separate area. Okay. It that's was far fine. enough away. You oh, no, that's them. fine. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah uh, the uh, commander says, um, take the prophet down and see if you can figure out the consoles. And the commander is going to go spy on the brig and see what that situation looks like. Yeah. Okay. Um, so good. that's a relocation. That's no problem. You get to the brig. Uh, the guards are gone. Right, um, uh, so the navy that are there are easy enough to get them out. Um, I don't know, figuring out the console might be a little tricky with the Klingon, I don't speak but you can just blast the panels anyway with your face. Exactly what I was going yep. to do, yep. yep. So you've got the four of them out. Um, you'll be able to relocate them back to engineering next turn. What are you guys mm-hmm. doing in engineering? Um, well, again, I don't speak or read Klingon. Nope. So I don't know what any of these things do. But, but you can figure it out because you know the technology mm-hmm. so if i can find like a weapon system sure i would like to make it so this thing can't shoot at us all right so give me a reason engineering role because you don't necessarily know the controls but you know the technology so you know what to, yeah, weapon systems control. look like difficulty, right. difficulty, difficulty is two okay um Unless use you one of those advantages time. That we yeah. have because use an advantage to get a bonus die, um, or you can reduce the difficulty with an advantage. Yeah, that works too. Mm-hmm. It reduces the difficulty is better because it means yeah, I'll do that one. Okay, and then you get two bonus yeah. momentum. I did it. Yay! Right, one so you figured out the weapons bonus. console and are able to shut it down, no problem. 
Okay, cool. Um, so the weapons are perfect. effectively disabled on board the ship. You also so have no those two time. bonus momentum to spend. Yeah, and you got two bonus I don't know momentum. what I spend them on. Yeah. Uh, Gather information. Yeah, like, can I Figure parse out what the, what other, the other consoles do? Yeah. Um, yes, so I would take that two bonus and I would give you an advantage on any other engineering roles you wanted to do down there. How's that sound? Sounds good. Effectively reduces difficulty on your next engineering role in the Klingon Warbird by one. Nice. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. So that's it for the engine crew back to the bridge. All right. One Klingon still down at the end of the hall. Yeah. Well, he's going to get eaten up by that. Okay. Yeah, that. I was going to say. <laughs> HK so. can go first. <laughs> All right, um, so we can do that first if the doctor wants to go first. If, he goes I, on the doctor. I'm just turn. realizing I didn't actually do anything last turn. Oh, oh, to do that's true. Yeah. Sure. Um, I just like to put a call out to the other two. Mm-hmm. Um, things appear to be wrapping up quite quickly up here. Not sure how your tasks are progressing, but <laughs> we're pretty good. <laughs> Nobody's like to say your engine room is secure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know we're okay. You know we're kind of chilling. Klingo's tea. handled. <laughs> Boone's handled. We're good. How are you? Blast the control panel. <laughs> All right. So, Doctor wants to go first this time to get the drone firing first, or sure, sure. What are you going to do? I am going to have that drone do that drone thing. Right, but what are you going to do for your action? Because the drone goes on your action. Right. Well, I was yeah. going to roll the drone first. Sure. And if it kills okay. the Klingon, it doesn't really fucking matter what I do. <laughs> True. Sure. Okay. Because we'll be out of combat. Out of targets. Uh, Rolling. Oh, well, again. You did um, the same thing. Nice. Another three. Did the same thing. Yep. Uh, so that's a very solid hit. <laughs> Very good rivet. Bypass resistance, add damage. Ow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and plus then, your two bonus momentum. One was for bypass resistance, and then one for mm-hmm. increased damage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's and, nine. Uh, He's been hit already. Yep, mm-hmm. I hit him. Um, so same thing. He kind of goes all spread eagled for a sec, <laughs> doing a crazy electrical dance, falls to the deck, kicks a couple times, and then lies still. And the drone slowly settles onto the deck and shuts down. It starts vacuuming the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let me tell uh, most you guys. Of the items, most of the items you got from the Iconian place were had three, three charges. Th- yep. Uh, <clears throat> so that was its third shot, right? The first one. Gotcha. Was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. First DJ one. Roomba Ooh. needs to recharge. <laughs> three, three, is, uh, three is a sacred number to the Iconians. Mm. Um, <laughs> at this point, um, Wadoon just sort of tosses his head back and Roars. lets out this just massive bellowing roar. Mm-hmm. Like he's yelling at the heavens. I'm surprised he's willing to honor this guy after all the bullshit. <laughs> this guy sucked, yeah. <laughs> um, and once he's finished his yell, he mm-hmm. stands up, sort of kicks the body aside and takes a seat in the center chair. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Captain Chichilor is going to approach him. He looks over as you come by. He says, Captain Wadoon, I presume. I presume correctly. <clears throat> he objected to the presence of Federation ah. in my company. But I kept to the rules of an honorable combat. You did. And I lay claim to this vessel. You did. Um, thank you. What? Was he, was he about to say thank you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Does it sound like Craig? That's what Craig was going to say. You um, don't appear to have much of a crew left, Captain. A momentary issue. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and with that, he uh, flicks a couple of switches on the command chair mm-hmm. um, and speaks something in Klingon. Um, and a few moments later, um, half a dozen Klingons appear 
um, in the corridor leading up to the bridge. Red Beam's mm-hmm. transporter? Yeah. Transporter. Mm-hmm. His crew from the planet. Mm-hmm. And Wadoo stands up and turns to face them and gives them some orders in Klingon. Um, three of them immediately take positions on the bridge, on the bridge stations, and the others um, head off towards the turbo lift. Um, they're all kind of standing around looking, not standing around, but they're all kind of like eyeing you guys sort of passive aggressively. Mm-hmm. Um, and Wadoo turns to you. You have dealt with me honorably from the beginning, Captain. And I shall do so as well. Where can I deposit it? On our ship. I am certain that your ship will not accept a transport from a Klingon bird of prey in the middle of a battle. Indeed. Can you offer an alternative? Hmm. Can the commander make his way to the bridge at this point? Yeah, sure. Let's, okay. Yeah, then the captain, the captain would, as he's pausing, he'd say, uh, let's make the decision once my crew is here. All right. So um, uh, not very long later, the crew with some four extra innovators. Some extras. And your prophet um, arrive on the bridge. Excellent. Everyone, we've done well. You tell me about your certain triumphs after we've gotten back to the Curie. And as I expected, Captain Wadoom is going to honor us as we have honored him. So we need to decide where we're going to be. At this point, you know, Captain Wadoon, I would uh, suggest reaching out to the battle cruiser and, uh, if nothing else, like we could continue this fight, but I think you can see that this is at a stalemate. And I suggest that both the Klingon Empire and the Federation leave. We call this one a draw. And if in the future we want to come back and have this out again, we can. But perhaps considering what knowledge we have, and you know, that we share about this planet. Perhaps we say that we're hands off and we let the Neve decide who they will join. Which I mean obviously is gonna be us, but <laughs> we have the cargo that we came here for. We have no interest in this planet is far too remote for us to have a long term interest in. And I mean, look at them. They're 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 not great, you know, laborers. Hmm. No offense, um, guys. <laughs> so here's what I'm going to ask for. I'm going to ask for you to give me a direct roll. Because mm-hmm. um, you're... So Wadoon doesn't have authority to order the other guy to break off because he's the senior captain. But Wadoon can try and persuade him or mislead him into thinking that they're having some sort of a problem and maybe this should be... Um, that this fight isn't a fight worth winning at this point. So if you give me a direct role to assist him in his bluff of the light cruiser captain, um, we'll see if you convince him to pull out. Because we can't communicate with our ship while they're fighting. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Shields basically prevent a lot of that. Um, actually, if the uh, captain doesn't mind, I'm going to use my once permission trill ability and just kind of <laughs> lean, lean over to, you know, Captain Wadoon and just start mentioning a couple Klingon stories I've heard, you know, pull up Kalis, right? Sure, or something sure. like that. And just be, and <laughs> just have this like, hey, like this is, let's, 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 you know, part peacefully, you know, kind of situation thing. Kalis on Lockmore. So you'll give me a direct, a direct roll. Indeed, I'm going to spend mm-hmm. one momentum. <laughs> We're sure. almost out. We, uh, we don't have any. Do we not? I was showing two. We didn't gain any. Hmm. Oh, because there were bonus from? momentum. From oh, from the, the drone. Oh, right, right. You can add drone. the threat if you want. Yep. Yeah. Give me the threat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> with with two minutes left in the episode, I'm going to spend three threat. <laughs> I'm going to pick up two dice. Don't you have determination? No, oh, wait, you I've, can't do it I haven't assist. had determination in a oh, wait, while. You assist. This is a direct roll, so it's you assist him, and then mm-hmm. um, oh, you yeah, roll one die. You don't need yeah, to add yeah, threat I don't anyway. Need to add. Yep, that's true. Um, cool, but I will add my focus, because why not? Command presence. Mm. what he pulls it out (laughs) all right all right so there's a you could use the last advantage true that would work too yep um so yeah so there's a back and forth between wadun and the other captain um, and eventually it appears to conclude, and you see through the viewfinder, or through the, the viewer, um, the D5 cruiser turn away from the planet, um, and a few seconds later, it goes to water. Yes. And exits the system. Uh, Wadoon turns to you. Stand down, red alert. Yes, stand down. <laughs> yes. yes, awesome. Um... Uh, and says uh, the story was a good. good <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I told it so poorly. <laughs> That's fine. Um, and the Wadoon turns to you, Captain Tuchor. Yes. He says that there's one more thing that you need to do. Yes. And he draws his dip top. Mm-hmm. And he hands it to you. Ah. Oh. I'm going to give him my Ushan tour. You trade weapons. Mm-hmm. I can get another and one. He smiles. <laughs> You're not like Here any other. Seems to work a lot better. But... <laughs> <laughs> You're not like it's any that. Federation I've ever met before. I like Maybe to there think is that hope for a future that's less adversarial. Wink at the camera. <laughs> I'm grateful to hear you say that. And even if your commitment to your people prevents you from thinking of me as an ally, you've been an ally to me. And unless unless proven otherwise, I will consider you an ally. Your name will be remembered. Um, After that, he... It's a little bit of tense negotiations. Uh, Shavor isn't necessarily willing to accept a transport from a Klingon. <laughs> well, yeah, we can get on comms and things yeah, like that. We, we can talk to her. But you eventually sort it all out, um, and you guys end up back on uh, the Curie. A note. Mm. Mm-hmm. Somewhere in there, the lieutenant and I both grabbed Batleths, Disruptor Pistols, <laughs> and Dick <Dick-Cops>. Sure. <laughs> like, no there, there are two guys down there that got fried and disrupted. They don't need them anymore. We're taking those home. <laughs> sure, sure. You have some trophies. That's no problem. And uh, Wadoon's not going to deny you trophies for, you know, honorable kills anyway. So. Oh, yeah. Yep. No problem. Uh, so you guys make it back uh, to the Curie. Um, there are some questions. Of oh, course. Of course. Like, how you ended up from the planet on a thing on for to play. <laughs> uh, we'll sort out how that happens later. Um, longer term, over the course of the next, mm-hmm. um, you, you communicate because this is a significant issue. So you communicate oh, yeah. back to Starfleet, mm-hmm. um, and you're given orders saying that you know to maintain station on the planet until a diplomatic party arrives. Okay. So you guys are there for about a month and a half. Wow. Um, just getting familiar with the culture and introducing yeah. them to the Federation and things like that. There's a lot of cultural change going on. You have frequent visitors on board the ship, and you guys are giving tours of the planet mm. and things like that. Um, and then uh, a diplomatic, um, um, uh, oh, I want to say ship An envoy? arrives. Yep, okay. diplomatic envoy, like a, a bunch of diplomats. Like it's a ship. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So there's um, a uh, Constitution class cruiser arrives carrying um, a bunch of the diplomats to come and establish contact and formal relations between the Federation and the Nadeh. Um, and uh, this ends up being, uh, as the months and years pass, this becomes a, an important way station for deep space missions in the future. Oh, cool. um, which is, um, so especially it's got possible. all that dilithium. Yes, especially with all the dilithium. <laughs> 
uh, which was made possible by the heroic efforts of the crew of the USS Curie. That totally yes. never exploded any word <laughs> to otherwise is clearly Klingon propaganda. Right, exactly. Um, so I think that's uh, a great spot to wrap up, considering we just hit 9 o'clock or a couple minutes after. Mm. I had so much fun, you guys. It's very, very good. It was so much fun. YouTube, was really I, good. The Twitch said, you two folks, I hope you really enjoyed it too. I had a ton of fun. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining us once again on uh, so a little corner of Geekdom on the Internet for the finale of our Star Trek Adventures miniseries. Uh, we'll be back next week with session one of the new chronicle mm-hmm. very excited um f- uh please uh anyone who's watching us no matter where you're watching us or listening to us feel free to join us on discord at geekinto.space it's an amazing community of wonderful people and there's all kinds of subjects going on we have channels for all kinds of even just like web photos and stuff so um please come and join us it's just a great place to hang out um and get good vibes and happy thoughts uh, if you feel so kind, we invite you to support us on Patreon. Um, the money we raise on Patreon goes to do hardware refreshes and replace broken equipment for the uh, folks here and pay for awesome artwork that uh, I can't wait to see the finale or the, the final versions of for the Chronicle next week. Uh, you can find us at staylucky.club. Um, and I guess that's it. So thanks everyone for coming along on this wonderful little mini series adventure. I had so much fun. Um, and couple quick things yeah Yeah. sure uh so again quick reminder try it con i'm not even going to push chris's stuff because chris's stuff has already sold out there's one oh this is yeah one in thirsty sword lesbians um and then i have uh less seats now i actually have like at least two people in every seats but there's saturday and sunday games uh for me running a mage thing which I'm going to do the prep for this Wednesday because I'm I'm just going to step away from Into the West. So if you want to see how I put together a one shot, um, this is also very good prep for, hey, you want to introduce Mage to some friends? Hmm. There's not as much work that goes into it as you think. This will probably be a very, very short stream. But anyways, that's Wednesday night. That's when I've been doing a little when I'm done eating dinner uh, kind of stream more or less six, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, so you can come hang out and, um, and and chat with me and we're just chilling with some some good OC Remix stuff. Um, and so that'll be this weekend um, or not this weekend. That'll be this Wednesday. Um, but uh, yeah, I feel like there's another thing. Uh, but yeah, next week we will be starting into the West. The start of the Chronicle. Yeah, so, um, going to be real good. Yep. Mages and, again. And yeah, be mages again and ashes. I was so close to getting rid of the acanthus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be good. Uh, in if, case, if she didn't do it, I would have did it. That's fair. They're, yeah. they're just too awesome. And if they didn't do it, you know my ass wasn't going to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And if you if you are just now hearing about this, you joined us because of Star Trek or anything like that. Major Awakening is a very cool, like, and I, I was going to say modern, uh, but we're playing in the Wild West uh, pre Civil War. So not quite that Wild West, but um, and so frontier. we have frontier. Yes. Thank you. Wilder than that. Wild yeah. West. <laughs> um, so we, we have, you know, well, actually, if you guys want to do real, real quick, like short blurb, like descriptions of your characters, because I was about to do it for you and I realized you guys can do a better job of it. Uh, just like name and what kind of magic you do um real quick if we want to well we'll start with craig since craig has been a gm for you know seven weeks now and yeah get to be a player again yeah it's gonna be nice uh to not have to panic every time like drew says okay are we ready (laughs) um i'm playing uh theodosia uh theo for short um she's a moros um came to her abilities through an actual death so that'll be a fun little story to uncover Mm-hmm. And the Moros are the necromancer, speak with the dead, and play yes. with alchemical matter kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And then let's uh, d- d- burp over to Ash. I uh, am playing Gisela Bauer. She's an Acanthus. So she's going to be playing with fate a lot and maybe Mostly a little fate. bit of time shenanigans, which does yes, include potentially time travel. Yes, it can completely mess up your game. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> interactions with time will be probably more in the like Same very the rough divinations yeah so yeah prophecies cool. divinations 
And then we move to Bert down over to Chris. Uh, I will be playing uh, Isabel, a ecstatic. <laughs> the right terms for how her magic is going to go, mm-hmm. but a um, woman with a hidden past is probably the best way to say. Um, and uh leading into the uh exploration of the super the the, the supernatural parts of the natural world mm. i think are the, the way yeah, to say good that way to do it playing with spirits cool. and the things on the other mm-hmm. side and then ralph our brand new mage Ma- ralph has never played mage before he's brit no <laughs> uh, <laughs> ralph, ralph is R- ralph is old hat at um at playing mage uh but we'll be joining yeah, us group. for mage stuff for the first time which is going to be super cool i'm very much looking forward to it and i'm looking forward to playing jean paul pierre joseph Broussard, who goes by the name ungan cloak he's a priest of Vodou, haitian priest um a maroon leads a mystery cult devoted to understanding themselves and overcoming trauma and in that note, he's playing a Mastigos. So he's quite obsessed with boundaries, fears, and personal limitations. And he's probably going to take advantage of many of the personal limitations of the townsfolk in order to accomplish his goals. Yeah, which which reminds me, he's Ungun Cloak and his 30 odd followers are from Haiti. Haiti. <laughs> I yeah. had a moment there. And they're now in Colorado, suddenly. I'm sure oh, yeah. that's not going to cause any kind of drama <laughs> whatsoever. Fine. It's going to be interesting. So that's what we're we're doing. Um, and so, yeah, we'll we'll see you all next week for that. Um, I guess that's it. Yeah. No more bold see action. Yeah. No more bold action. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for all this bold action. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Thanks, all. Good night.